Dragon Hill here for Hammer Time, Source SDK Tutorials. Today we will be learning how to create a simple prefab. This prefab will be the cube map entity that you should be using in your maps. Um, and we're going to have a little helpful hint brush so that it uh, is properly aligned in the uh, map for the correct height you're, you should be using. Now the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go out of this view and go to our overhead view. And this is where I'm going to create my first uh, brush. Um, what you want, probably want to do is uh, go over here and go to your, if you haven't already selected your skip as your texture, go ahead and go into your uh, texture browser. Go down here, type in skip. This should appear. Double click on that. And now we're going to go over to our block tool. Selecting our block tool, we want to have primitives, object block, and our grid is set to 8. I'm going to go up here and I want to place my brush or my block tool uh, above or right over the intersection of the two blue lines which is the world origin at 00. zero. So I go ahead and I'm going to create the overhead 16 by 16. Then I'm going to turn around and go down here and make certain that it's floored and then make certain the height is 64. Um, we can readjust this later but what we really want to see is we want to see the bottom of this exactly at the zero point. Um, you can't see it right now. Um, I'm going to shift out. But if we go over here, you'll see the blue line comes across. And in fact, our floor of our room is at the zero mark. So let's go back to our main view. Um, go ahead and hit enter. Okay. And now we can use, uh, we go over here to our entity tool. Select that. And then we want to come back over here to the objects field and go ahead and just type in cube. You'll see environment cube map is uh, will pop up. We select that. And we go back over here and then just select. And there we go. Go back to our selection tool. Make certain that we have the, the cube selected. Go back over here to overhead view and line it up. Go over to side view. And we want the middle of the uh, cube to be right at the top of our reference block. Now, we can go back over here. Turn around and enlarge this. Make sure we have both selected. And now what we're going to do is we're going to take both of these items and create a prefab. We just go over here to the Create Prefab. Go ahead and hit Select. Um, you'll probably uh, have a different, you'll have the prefabs folder show up. I actually have my own uh, separate folder for uh, my development. Um, if you choose to create your own folder, you want to create the folder before you do this. Creating the folder right now and then putting in the prefab will crash Hammer. Uh, since I already have it created, I can select it. Um, you could select uh, another prefabs, but like I said, uh, you'll actually what we can do is we can right here um, I can create my prefab. I'm going to create cube map tutorial and most of you would want to hit the save because it says save as type dot VMF. Well unfortunately this is incorrect. It's going to save it without the VMF extension and you'll never be able to see it here. So I'm going to add the dot VMF right now. Then I'll hit save. Okay, at this point um, we can delete this. We no, long, no longer need this. Um, now what I'm going to do, there are two ways of calling forth a uh, prefab. One is to use the block tool. Another is the entity and we're going to use the entity for this particular instance. I'll select entity and then I'm going to go over here to categories and I'm going to select prefabs and Voila! Cube map tutorial shows. I select that and now I just click. And you'll see that each cube map has been precisely placed at the right height because of our reference geometry. And the reference geometry had been its origin set at zero zero. So wherever I click and it touches a surface, that's where our cube map is. Anyway, now you should be able to uh, place your cube maps in your level uh, fairly effortlessly and competently 
And uh, that now ends this uh, prefab tutorial. Thank you. Goodbye. Why the dog has been using the toilet paper.